Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Manisha. Today we are going to see very interesting architecture uh, in large language model, which is a, a retriever augmented generation. I'm going to explore uh, two, two different research papers to explain these architecture. In this architecture, we will see what is RAG, uh, what we have like two different approaches, uh, ra uh, a large language model without RAG and large language model with uh, RAG and uh, what are different components that we see in the RAG architecture. So let's explore the RAG architecture today. So uh, in this video, we are going to check out this paper, interesting paper, which is a retrieval augmented generation for knowledge intensive L NLP task. Uh, this is uh, from the experts from Facebook AI research, then University College London and New York, New York University. Now we will check the RAG approach from this paper. So what is RAG approach? The RAG approach enhanced the question answering system by integrating retrieval uh, mechanism like a document retrieval mechanism directly into uh, gener uh, generative model uh, or large language model allowing the system to pull uh, in external documents that provide a relevant context for generating answer. So uh, in this architecture first we have a three queries like uh, question query, fact query, answer query. For example, define middle year Barack Obama was born in Hawaii and the divine uh, comedy. So talking about the flow of the approach, first is a question encoder. It encodes input query into a dense vector representation. Uh, it can be denoted by Q of X and this vector is used to a document index to find the most relevant documents. For example, uh, we, uh, example of queries in the figure that we see define middle year Barack Obama was born in Hawaii and others that are uh, to be transformed into vector embedding. And then next comes uh, retriever uh, or document retrieval. So it uses the encoded query to retrieve relevant documents from a pre-built document index using this method called as a maximum inner product search and this MIPS uh, method effectively um, searches for a top K document embedding that have a highest dot product uh, with a query vector indicating the relevance to the query and what would be the output? Output would be the top K documents denoted by in this figure Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4 and these documents retrieved based on their relevance on the query vector. The next comes in a document index. So it stores embedding of the document which are pre-processed and indexed and it acts as a source of knowledge that the RAG system queries against and each document is represented by a vector that uh, en encapsulates its a semantic meaning. Ne next comes in uh, generator or answer generation. So um, this is a, a parametric uh, sequence to sequence model that takes an input the query and the context provided by retrieved documents and it generates an output response by synthesizing uh, information from query and then retrieved documents. The generator might uh, use a different documents or different parts of documents to generate each part of the response that is that is represented in Y. This step is where the actual text generation happens and combines the input query with the context from relevant documents. Next is a end to end training so it, which is highlighted here. Uh, the model allows for end to end training meaning it can be trained to optimize both retrieval and generation process simultaneously. Next is that I found another interesting paper which is on the RAG. Uh, it is a review paper. So the paper name is a retrieval augmented generation for large, large language model a survey. Uh, it is from the Shanghai uh, Research Institute and um, Shanghai Key Laboratory of Data Science, School of Computer Science and College of, of Design and Innovation. So let's see what we have in this paper. Uh, so they here we see the RAG process. It's in the, the same architecture that we explained but it is in different uh, format. 
um, so the uh, talking about raw rag process first we will see the user and the second is input query and the important or key part of the rag process is indexing so it is actually uh, this this is actually to prepare and organize a repository of information that can be quickly accessed by the rag system so what exactly the process inside the indexing first document is collected and the documents are divided into smaller or um, uh, manageable pieces such as a paragraph or sentences and each piece or the document is encoded into a vector and these vector represent the semantic meaning of the text segments and are stored in a vector database uh, for example consider a medical database uh, which is, which contains uh, several uh, articles on various diseases so each article is segmented into paragraphs and each paragraph is converted into vector that semantically encodes the information about the symptoms or treatments or drug interactions related to different health conditions coming to the next uh, phase uh, is a document retrieval. So the objective of the, this phase is to fetch the most relevant information from the index database based on the query input. So the what exactly process that happen inside the retrieval document is that when a query is is input into system, it is also converted into vector, and the system then performs a similarity search. Uh, for example, using cosine similarity. Uh, in the vector database and to to find uh, and retrieve the top k vectors that most closely match the query vector and this system uh, this step ensures that the information relevant to the query is selected for a response generation here also i can take a, one example if the query is what are the latest treatments for the type 2 diabetes then the system converts this query into vector and retrieves the top uh, paragraphs and that discuss the recent uh, advancement or studies on the type 2 diabetes um, treatment. The next phase is a generation. Actually this phase uses the retrieved information to generate a precise and compressive answer. Once again what is the process inside the generation? The retrieved text chunk are fed along with the original query into a generative model like a chat GPT-3 or BARD and this model then synthesize this information from both the query and the retrieved text to construct the uh, construct an informed response. Here we can take one more example that based on the retrieved information about the recent clinical trials a new drug or lifestyle management tips for type 2 diabetes the rag model generates a response that summarizes these aspects offering a detailed and uh, you know updated answer to the user's question and now here you can see the answer in two two ways like without rag you have a different answer and with rag you have a different answer now next is a uh, uh, rag uh, different uh, architectures uh, like um, naive rag uh, which contains uh, the, the things that i explained uh, indexing retrieval of document then prompt generation and the frozen llm that we see and then output um, that we see in naive rag the next is advanced rag uh, in this system we will we will uh, this system introduce more complexity to improve the response quality uh, it also includes a pre retrieval components and then uh, post retrieval components and uh, then there is a modular rag uh, the modular rag actually have a more flexible system where models can be dyna dynamically configured so the first is models like a search predict and memory uh, then there is a pattern uh, such as a demonstrate search and predict so that's it uh, that, that's all about the different types of rags so in here this slide uh, shows the development of rag technology in the field of ai which is organized 
in a tree diagram represented uh, representing key milestones and models across different stages timeline tracks uh, a significant development from 2020 with chat gpt 3 up to 2024 including gpt 4 uh, there are three major stages um, which divides the developments into um, into fine tuning uh, pre-training and inference uh, as you can see uh, in the figure and then the model uh, innovation that we see each branch uh, um, includes a various model and technology related to RAG it highlights their progression and um, diversification over the years and key models and technology that we see um, in the diagram which includes um, models like a chat gpt in 2023 chat gpt 4 during 2023 to 2024 as well as other uh, specialized approaches that we see in the in the tree so uh, in the next video i'm going to show a large language model implementation without a rag architecture and with a rag architecture so please don't forget to watch the next video as well and and that's all for this video uh, thanks for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to the channel if you have any question please write your questions in uh, comment box uh, there will be uh, these two different paper links in the description box as well as you will find my website in description box um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm going to uh, come up with a different uh, uh, videos on different research paper uh, very soon so stay tuned and uh, take care and see you in the next